up on the central big stone. Wonderful Wonder Witch placed her cauldron. They each add in their ingredients. The eye of a daffodil. A nose of a dragonfly. Tongue of a slug. And tail of a snail. The last ingredient. The most important of all, the wig of a glass was added before the friends started to stir. Why a wonderful wonder witch chanted a spell. So focused they were, they did not notice a very cross. A very angry, a very sad, a very lonely, firebomb rainbow goblin poke. He could not believe he'd been left out. Again! Without a second thought, he cast a, some mini firebombs into the cauldron. BOOM! The potion exploded everywhere, covering everything, pushing everyone onto the forest floor. All the beautiful colours are gone, from your mum to the wise old Robin. They each looked like a charcoal sketch. Now many of these characters could have carried on their lives in black and white. Part from one. One who prided himself on being every colour of the rainbow. Poor Firebomb wailed so loudly that wonderful Wonder Way could barely hear Chocolate ask what had happened. Um, someone has added something to the portion that they shouldn't have, she explained. And until we know who, I don't know how to bring the colour back. It was me! It was me! shouted Firebomb. I'm so sorry, please help me. What good is it being a rainbow goblin in black and white? I need my colours black, please help. Like a leaf or firebomb, they currently call us rainbow goblin. The folk of the enchanted wood were a forgiving bunch. Firebomb said sorry for always being grumpy. And explained that he always felt left out and didn't know how to be a good friend. Yum Yum said that being someone who always wants to play made someone a good friend. Chocolate said that he thought being caring made someone a good friend. Squishy Squashy said that's been funny made someone a good friend. Wonderful Wonder Witch agreed with Wise Old Robin that being kind made someone a good friend. Firebomb the rainbow this rainbow goblin listened and decided that he could be a good friend after all. And although they, he was still colourless, he couldn't help smiling as he walked with his friends to the wishing tree.